that. And we're coming over to one of my other favorite individuals, Coach Korn. What do you have for us this morning? Hey, good morning. Good morning. So I want to go quick so everybody has time to share. The one story that always stands out to me when we talk about long game was from the book Slight Edge, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. And I love, he, he shares an analogy where, you know, two people go into lunch. One eats a salad. And one decides today is going to get a piece of pizza and eats a piece of pizza. And as they go through their life and these choices are made, and it's kind of like what Russ was talking about, doing what you want to do. It's like, oh, man, I want a piece of pizza. I know I should eat a salad. But as they go through life, their whole life, the one that stuck to the salad the whole time and the one who ate a piece of pizza every so often, if you looked at their health 20 years down the road, is one better than the other. And the point here is, Choosing that pizza today is not going to kill you. I mean, you're not going to die because you eat a piece of pizza. However, that health 20 years down the road for however many times you did choose that pizza and that stuff is going to show up. So I think about that all the time when it's the long game. And and I just want to thank all of you. It's It's like no matter what level you're at, you're coaching people, whether you're a CEO of a company, whatever it might be. Russ, I mean, you hit a trigger today. I I am choosing, I, I'm doing what I want to do most of the time during the day to enjoy time with my family. You know, COVID kind of gave me this umbrella, like enjoy family. I, I lost my wife back in 2015 um, and I found my wife, current wife now so lucky that I paid attention and didn't just curl up in a ball. And it's now life with family is so important. However, you know, I have a, I, I have an industry changing, you know, um, just, I call it the long game, adding, feeding your database every single day, just adding new people to your database every day and staying in touch with people and creating relationships is the long game that allows you to get off the, the um, hamster wheel and the grindstone of just grinding out business every day, looking for new business, selling, all that stuff. When you create relationships, just opportunities show up. And so we just get caught up in all the stuff that's being thrown our way. And Russ, I want to thank you because you kind of woke me up and my big vision is what am I doing? I mean, I need to make this change now. Every single agent and every single company in the real estate industry, well, actually every business would benefit from this and I need to get off my butt and freaking make it happen and choose to do the things I know I should be doing versus just, you know, doing it to prove it and doing what I like to do and all that other stuff. So thank you very much for, I mean, really, every time you come in here, I'm sure we all experience it and I've heard everybody say it. It, it is a matter of being plugged into these types of conversations every single day. So thank you all very much. We're so happy to have you here. And I have a quick question for you, Coach Corn, because your shares are always so powerful. Is, you know, if someone is in the middle of playing their long game and they feel that they're running out of stamina, for instance, to, let's say, launch a course, or if they're in real estate and they have one of their biggest clients, they're not getting any bites. What advice would you say to that person to allow them to continue marching on? Well, for me, systems help. So a, a lot of everything I do revolves around Michael Gerber's E-Myth book, E-Myth, E-M-Y-T-H. And he he talks about the just systematizing and writing down everything. So for example, adding new people to the database every day and writing a handwritten note to those that you connect with every day is like the two core things that, that I consider feeding my business every single day because those that note means I had a meaningful conversation. So it is having a trigger or having something trigger in your system that pulls you back on track every day. Now the trick is, you have to get into the habit of relying on your system every single day. You can't wake up and choose not to pull up the system and do what it says to do. When you go to Starbucks, I mean, it's like there's a gazillion different ways everybody orders their coffee, yet it's the you get it the exact way you want it every single time. That's a system. So the only thing I would say is if you have triggers and systems, and more importantly, 
somebody to go to, a coach, a mentor. Um, that is the key, key thing. Like coming to this every single day kind of pulls you back on track because it's like the message I heard, you know, that Russ shared right at the very beginning. I mean, I can hear how a lot of coaching clients would hear that. But I heard how I heard it today on a on really the global change that could just change the way real estate agents succeed in real estate. And my mission is every agent can sell 100 homes a year. I mean, there's absolutely no reason that it won't happen. But you can get sidetracked with all the noise coming your way. So you need to have a system to pop that back up, whether that's just an automatic email uh, like I use campaigns and action plans in my database to just kick emails back to me. And I get an email every three, four or five days. It just randomly kind of kicks in. But it's a system that's running that says, did you feed the database today? And when that email shows up in my box, I, you know, I know it's the system talking to me. So I don't ignore it because I built the habit around that. And a lot of people, when they do that, they just kind of start ignoring it as noise and doing what they choose to do. So set up some kind of system reminder to kick back to you. Like, did you write the page for your book today? Um, did you, you know, whatever that, whatever that long game is, it's going to move you forward. Writing a page. I love the just write one page a day or one page a week or whatever that game is for you to write your book. You got to have that email just kick out to you automatically and go, did you write your page today? Did you write your page today? Put it in your calendar as a recurring event. Um, I just picked up on that in one of the groups that it was to write a page today. So I've got workbooks that I want to go along with the book that Michael Gerber and I wrote, Emith Real Estate Agent. And I, I mean, it's been two years since we wrote the book. I, I need to get the workbooks going because that's what puts it into action. I don't want just a book sitting on somebody's shelves. I don't want anybody to buy it for that. I want you to buy it to get to 100 sales. So I hope that answered the question. It did a thousand percent. I thank you so much. And a couple of nuggets that you had mentioned in there is system, system, system and automation. You know, there is this undervaluing of front end automation. What do I mean by that in your business? I mean, how are you going to be initially capturing people's information? Are you going to be doing it through organic conversations like Clumming on Clubhouse, creating Facebook content, creating Instagram content, creating TikTok content, LinkedIn, whatever your avenue is, or YouTube? And are you going to then have some way to automate that follow up? So when you get that first email, when you get that first client, if you're having a referral based process, do they get put on a sheet of paper? Do they get saved in your phone? Or do they get put into some sort of automation? And there are ones you can create on your own out there. You can create ones through websites. For instance, everybody knows about click funnels and how once you get a, a person's contact information, then they can go into a text campaign or they can go into an email campaign. And it's really something when I work, work with businesses, one of the biggest things I look at is what What's the automation on the front end? What's the offer? What's the sales? And what's the closing ratio on the back end? And figuring out the majority of people have a hard time on the front end with following up with people. Even something as simple as my boyfriend was helping expand a roofing company from reaching in um, 10 counties to doing it through two states and he successfully did so and one of the biggest things that we found when we pulled back the books and we looked at things is the average salesperson was dropping seven to eight sales a month just because they didn't have a system in place now that company had 42 people so you do the math that's a couple hundred sales a month that they were dropping which means on the back end that this company was letting go just because they didn't have a system in place, hundreds of thousands of dollars each month. And it turned into being a couple million a year that we were able to help recover for them just by simply having a system in place. So don't underestimate the systems that we have because they can be lifesavers for ourselves with our daily routines and how to check in with people, like Coach Corn, like you were saying, and also how to actually capture those people and what to do with them because when they say a line that we've heard a thousand times the fortune is in the follow-up 
they say that for a reason. The persistence is what allows us to have that turnover from just a conversation to a, a close and an ability to work with someone. So thank you, Coach Corn, for bringing that onto the table. I, I see you coming in again. Yeah, uh, just one more minute. I want to give everybody something tangible here that is so simple. Everyone can do it. See, already people know, like, they like working with people they know, like, and trust. Here is a way to reconnect with your database. Look at your database and how many people are in there, right? Those people will use your services at some point. So here's a four-step campaign or action plan. Almost every database has one where you create a series of events. Say, go to a contact record, Brad Corn, right? And then you say, start this plan. And it says, call on day zero, right? And then it says, write a handwritten note one day later. And then it says, you know, send, drop something in the mail, you know, whatever. And then it says plan is ended, start the next plan. And that drip plan might be eight touches over the next eight weeks to brand myself. It might be 30 some touches over the next year so I don't lose touch with them. And I always have phone calls layered in there. Now, what happens is I open up my database and go to my task list. And however many people I ran those plans on whenever I started them, I don't do anything in bulk. It's just daily, right? And it pops up and it says, hey, today's time to call Amanda. You, you wrote her a note three months ago and it's time to call again. And so those campaigns and action plans, go just play in those and try and set up a four-step call someone in your database, write them a handwritten note and send them something in the mail and then start another plan and then figure out what the other plan is later. But start with four simple steps. Thank you so much. And if you guys are starting out with creating tasks and campaigns, there are a lot of free resources out there and you can simply use Google and do a lot, thing, a lot of things manually and you can just have a free resource right there in your Gmail and all of these things are available to you. Then there's more, there's a lot more ones that there are more that are scaled and allowing you to work in a more efficient playing field when you actually get there. But for those of you guys who are just starting out, I just want to make sure that you take away golden nuggets from this conversation because here at the Achievers Breakfast Club, it's really about how can you come in, contribute, hear what you need to hear from someone else, get out of here and go and attack your day. So we're so happy to have everybody here and I want to keep rocking. So happy to have you here. And with that, I'd love to come up to the three leading men, Sam, Coach Corn, and Anthony. Do you have any last pieces you want to throw on this breakfast table before we wrap up for the day? Wow. Um, I, there's been so much that we've talked about. And I think, I think the bottom line is, is the bottom line is, Look at the long view. What's going to benefit you best long term? And then what's the one thing you need to do right now to start stepping that out and start making decisions based on the long term? And that's it. Thank you. I will add, uh, you know, one of the things I've kind of always told myself is that the world is designed to knock us off track. If it gave us everything so easy, then everybody would be doing it. So just know going into every single day that that one thing that you need to do long term, uh, John Maxwell calls it the, the ax on the tree. If you want to chop down a redwood forest tree, the best way to do it is five wax today, five wax tomorrow, five wax the next day. Or you want to go out there and just start swinging away all day long and be sore, your ax will be dull. So just know that the world is designed to knock us off track. Do that one thing every single day, consistent, 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 and it builds a pipeline so that later on down the road, you don't have to do the grindstone all the time and it just starts showing up. And Anthony, do you have any other things you wanted to add? Okay, and so thank you guys so much for being here. You know, thinking about the long game is really what are your goals? Do you have clarity on those goals? And be flexible with your approach because we know that our, our goals may change and the method to get there may change. If you guys have questions about the coaching certification through success.com, please send myself, please send Sam a DM right here on this app so we can get you guys with some information and get you started today on capitalizing, getting on that 
path that will allow you to reach your goals further, faster, together. And know that you're not alone if you have any questions about things that you've heard today. I am Amanda. Thank you so much, Sam, Coach Corn, Anthony, everybody else on stage and in the lounge who has joined us today. We appreciate you so much and cannot wait for you to, to see you and do this all over tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern. So make it a great day, everybody, and we will see you then.